there, Van Again Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Van Again. We are in Belize right now, and I thought I'd take you for a drive from the village of Placencia back to our home that we rented a little bit above a place called Maya Beach. Uh, we're driving a 1987 Volkswagen Van Again Wolfsburg Edition that belongs to a friend of mine. His name is Dave Schaefer. And uh, he has gracefully allowed us to use his van. And so I just want to say thanks to him. I also want to say hello to our Patreon supporters, Chris Snyder, Eric Schneider, and Peter in Australia. Good to have you guys. Thank you for helping us out. So we're heading back. Uh, we did a video about like this about two years ago. Uh, but a lot of things have changed in just two years. Uh, number one roads have gotten better. Uh, there's different sections, like this section here, we're riding on now, was actually really bad, wavy. Last time it was paved, but just very wavy. Now it's smooth, they have repaved it. Uh, so that's great, and a lot of new buildings and things were coming on this inn here. It is called the Turtle Inn, and I believe is Francis Ford Coppola who is a owner of this resort uh, so it's a place where a lot of sorry about that sorry about that a lot of famous people come when they come to visit Belize they'll stay at the Turtle Inn uh, and I think uh, you know that's something that a lot of people have heard about maybe in the US but uh, Francis Ford Coppola actually owns two resorts in Belize, that one, and also one in the jungle, and they're both, you know, very high-end and trying to be, like, very luxury resorts. Okay, now we're going to go a little bit farther here up the road. We're going to be coming to the Placencia Airport. Um, the Placencia Airport, as you're going to see, it actually cuts across the road that I'm going to be driving on. Uh, about a year ago, Vice President of Belize was flying out of this airport and you can see up ahead here there's actually some crossbars that come across the road because when the planes are taken off they actually take off over the ocean here and they actually take off right over the road so what happened was the Vice President was taken off in a small one of these tropic or local carrier planes here and somebody went around this stopping crossing walk thing. Uh, even though the barrier was down, they only had one barrier back then. And so as the plane took off, the wheels hit the top of the car and they had to crash the plane into the ocean over there. Um, thankfully, I think no one got injured in that situation, but it just kind of shows you some of the fun things about living in a third world country. <laughs> I mean, we have this airport here, it's, there's really no place for it to be, so they're squeezing it into this road, but there's some hazards going on, you know, nothing's perfect, I guess. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so that happened last year. Here are the airport um, terminals where you would come, you know, when the plane lands, you got Maya Island Air, Tropic Air, that's the two small carriers they have here. And, they have what we call what we like to call puddle jumpers, which is like you know small Cessnas that carry about 15 people. That's how you would get from the Belize City Airport to any kind of destination down here that you want to go to. Um, you know, it's an experience. It's an experience. I would rather fly on those planes than drive on the roads. Just to be honest with you. Roads um, have are scary, and uh, Hummingbird Highway, you know, renowned as one of the most scenic highways in the world, supposedly. But when you're driving it, you don't have a lot of time to see the sights if you're the driver because you know, you're really just trying to not get dead. <laughs> just to be honest with you, that is your main goal. Don't die, and it's not easy sometimes because it's a treacherous road, 
sometimes there's big holes in it that go off a cliff. We have seen that before. If you drive at night, the markings are poor. Again, you can kind of see on this road, uh, they need to repaint the lines. They haven't done that in a while. And it all kind of blends together, especially at night. All right, so you see some of the new construction. We have this new place, Hobbs, here, which is going to be a microbrewery, apparently, and a resort. It used to be an old, rundown hotel. If you watch my video from two years ago, you and you care at all, uh, which I don't. But you know, if you, you want to get crazy, you can look at that. And you'll see it's this old, rundown blue hotel. Now they have turned it into a brand new looking place that they are restoring. the way they like to live. They have, you 
know, less of a fancy lifestyle that they're into. And the people are really nice. A lot of them work at the local resorts and, uh, you know, are very friendly. They'll, you say, where do you live? Oh, sign fight, you know. So they're not, you know, lazy. They're not this and that. It's just this is the way that they like to live. And you got to respect it, you know. I'm not going to judge them. Because they're not like me. <laughs> okay, so everybody's different. Okay, guys, just FYI. All right, so let's keep going here. So you can see some more places that are being built. They're all along here, houses uh, and things that are coming up. Some older houses, like I said. It's weird because we, we saw a whole lot of houses for sale the first year we came here back in like 2010, I guess. Maybe I can't remember what came here in 2010, 11, 12, something like that. There, there was a lot of houses for sale. What was it, baby? Uh, something like that. Okay. And, uh, you know, we it was kind of like not too long after the economic downturn thing. Uh, and so I was thinking, well, you know, it's just a process of that. But now we see all these new houses that are being built. But there's also a lot of houses that are for sale, too, at the same time. So I'm not totally sure what's happening. I don't know if people are trying to get out while they think the market is up or what's going on. But you can see all these places as we're going down the street. Signs for sale, for sale, for sale. I mean, maybe this is your perfect opportunity, you know, to come to Belize and just start your life over. You can have a new start here. I'm not, you know, I'm not a house salesman. So, oh my gosh. These speed things, man, oof, they're the worst. They have, they don't have a lot of money in Belize to pay for police, okay? So you're not going to get pulled over by the police for speeding. Instead, you deal with the speed humps and they basically force you to slow down. If you don't slow down, go over one, it's not going to be a good day, believe me. You're going to fly through the air a little bit, you're going to do some serious damage to you underneath of your car. <laughs> but, you know, that's how they control the speed limit here in Belize, so just want to let you guys know about that. This is another new development that's been here for a while. It's called Mission Bay, but they're totally redoing it, revamping it. Lots and lots of new construction going on in Belize. So we're almost back to Maya Beach. Here's another resort that's been around for a while, but they're kind of revamping it. It was called Coco Plum, now uh, Naya, okay, or Naya, or however you say it. Um, again, I've seen that in the news a lot. The Naya, I think the person that owns it must have friends that work for the major newspapers or something because they are getting that resort into uh, the papers, into the magazines, and online to hype it. But it's another really like a luxury place you can go there. It's like a spa. They give you massages and all this other stuff. I, I have no idea about it whatsoever. I'm not a massage person. Like go somewhere hot rocks on my back. That's usually what happens when I'm laying under a vanagon that's been, you know, out in the sun or something. <laughs> that's the only way I get hot rocks on my back is by laying on a bunch of hot rocks in somebody's driveway or something. But, uh, anyway, so let's keep going here. So, uh, I don't know what's happening up here. It looks like there's some smoke or something. Uh, as we were coming in, I'll show you guys in a few minutes here. Uh, there are... Is this from that trash truck? Okay. No, they're burning some over there. Oh, they're burning some. This is another resort that was here for like probably the last 10 years. We're just now putting a whole new addition on. Uh -oh. uh, we were coming in last night. Ignore the uh-ohs. Um, we were coming in last night. And, uh... Or this morning. And apparently there was an accident on this road. And the car burned up. And it's sitting right there where, where it happened last night. So we're going to be going by that in like a, probably a minute. We'll show you that. But the roads here, they're okay.
okay in the daytime. At nighttime, you really should just avoid them at all costs. That's what I do. Okay, so nighttime is the right time to be at your house. In the daytime, you got obstacles, you got things to overcome here on these roads, but you can kind of deal with it at night. It's like a whole new world. People are walking in the road at night with nothing to show you that they're there until you're right on them. Some vehicles have no lights. Big Mac trucks with no lights. No lights. Okay, so um, unless you you know, have superpowers or something and you can see in the dark and you can your reflexes are like faster than a speeding bullet or something I would avoid driving at night. Uh, people that have lived here for years have been killed at night in car accidents here in Belize because of just one wrong set of circumstances. Okay? Uh, so it, it's scary. It's not what we're used to in the U.S. We're used to, you know, go in the day, go in the night, whatever we want to do. You know, just do it. But when you're in a third world country, have to go slow, take it easy, don't be in a rush, okay, uh, because if you get in the U.S. mindset down here, you might be in for some trouble, okay, so now we're almost, we're in Maya Beach right now, okay, uh, this is where we like to be most of the time while we're here, this is a green parrot resort, it's another little resort here in the area. They usually always have restaurants, which are pretty good. You can go and hang out. If you come to eat at a restaurant, bring your swimsuit because they usually always have a nice swim pool as well. And they will let you jump in if you're eating at the restaurant. Get done. You like go sit out on the dock, go sit on the beach, uh, and go in their pool. And it's perfectly fine. They like that. Okay. Over here on the left, is actually a bowling alley, if you can believe it or not, the Jaguar Lanes. A little small bowling alley that some enterprising people have did a few years ago. Uh, it has pizza, which is supposed to be pretty good. On the right, we got the Maya Beach Bistro, which is the number one rated restaurant here in Belize. Uh, and it lives up to the hype, guys. The food is excellent. It looks like absolutely nothing from the road. You can't really see anything. But when you get in there, it's very nice. The people that run it, the lady, is very nice. Uh, it's right on the beach. You're sitting there looking out in the ocean and enjoying some excellent food that is not ridiculously expensive. Okay, so uh, it's a win-win. Okay, I would definitely recommend it for anyone, and especially if you're going to stay here in Maya Beach area. It's only like a mile down the road. So why not? You know, you're right here. Enjoy it now. This is the Belize Ocean Club. Okay, another really nice resort in here. Uh, they have some cool stuff. They have all the stuff that they're doing out here on their signs, letting you know what's going on. They also have a nice restaurant on this left side, on the lagoon side. Uh, they used to have a, so you could eat out on the beach, but they kind of changed that, sadly. That's what we like about it, but, and they have a really nice swimming pool as well. That's really big, okay? And if you eat in the restaurant, you can, you can go swimming, okay, if you want to. So there was some condos being built back there. There's still some places along here, like stretches of beach that's not developed yet.
crash vehicle I was telling you about. It's going to be on the left-hand side. Uh, I have no clue what happened. It looks like it went off the side. Yeah, like it went around the corner and kind of just hit something and burst on fire. Uh, it was not pretty. I told the Dawn. Oh, did they take it? Or, oh, no, it's still there. there. It's still there. I mean, in Belize, sometimes crash cars will be there for months. This just happened last night, so you can see it's pretty much a nightmare. I hope no one was killed, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. All right, on the left side here, we see Placencia Residences. This is where the van here that I'm driving lives in here. The owner is a friend of ours that lives, has a house in here, and it's a really nice upscale place to live. Uh, or, I think they do have one of the gecko houses in there you can rent. Here's another condo that's being built. Again, it's right across from the residences. And it's right on the beach. Uh, the residences are nice too because they have these canals in between the houses. And if you have a boat, you know, you can use that to get around instead of a car. Uh, or you can use it to go out and go fishing, which hopefully we'll be doing that instead. subscribe we're enjoying belize we're having a great time and i hope you enjoy coming along with us on the ride we'll see you guys on the next video have a great one